Alrighty then, welcome back! I mean, I guess I should say hi. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. Yes, I do want to talk about where I have been, as well as, hey, today's the last day of Mermaid. So we're going to be looking at this. And I've been following a specific prompt list on Instagram made by three different Instagram artists. It just seemed the best to me. And plus it was like every other day. So I wasn't being bombarded and just putting a bunch of projects in my lap. So it was every other day. So I have like a total of maybe uh, 20 mermaid posts. So it's great. Got to spend more time on them. So the last day, which is forever and I wanted to recreate one of my old mermaids and you'll see that from the 2019 um, mermaid sketchbook that I had like mermaid sketchbook <laughs> but and yeah I want to talk about where I've been and why I took a break um I think it's pretty simple I think everybody understands when you need to take care of yourself and your mental state you take breaks <laughs> and here is that old mermaid I wanted to recreate so I wanted this mermaid to be huge and I wanted to take up two spreads on my sketchbook so that's why you see me drawing this big old sketchbook so technically this mermaid is like 8 by 16 inches because it's filling up my entire illo sketchbook and also Oh, hoo hoo pastel set. Finally got my hands on a set and I used them throughout all of this Mermaid 2021. So I love them. I love them. They're great. And I'm going to be showing you how I use them on this sketch, making this pastel mermaid queen that represents mermaids forever. So I'm just gonna be jumping back and forth with a couple of notes on this and just like my overall um, impression of the Ohuhu markers and my process and what I was working on. Also, I want to talk about where I've been. All right, so I'm just jumping back and forth. Deal with me. If you've seen my videos, you know this is what's going on. Basically, why I jumped off YouTube is just because um, it was a big overhaul on me. I had a lot of things going on. Like, there was just like, I had the commissions going, I had Instagram I had to keep up, I discovered this new awesome app where I get to shoot little tiny videos. It's called Tickety Talk. <laughs> but I really enjoyed shooting um, these really cute mini videos and I was just really loving all of TikTok setup. So I've been doing a lot of stuff on that and it was just, you know, you go to a buffet and you're really hungry and you put all this big mass of food on your plate, you only get one trip and you know you just stash all this food. Like it's the salad bar. It's the one plate salad bar and you put all this food on top and then it's just like, it's too much food and then it mixes in together and then you're like, you got your egg salad and your cottage cheese and your, your cucumbers are in your um, honey mustard salad dressing i don't know whatever you do with salad they don't make honey yes they salad do dressing. make honey no, mustard salad don't. drawings you know what salad drawings yeah, i whatever it's my husband always buddy in when he doesn't need to every day of my life this is this is what the rest of my life's gonna look like <laughs> i'm kidding i love him anyways <laughs> so yeah you saw the ohuhu markers they're great see i'm jumping back and forth they're really awesome. They're beautiful. I actually swatched them out way before this video. Like I decided that, yep, I'm gonna use the pastel markers mostly for all of my mermaid 2021 because pastel colors with mermaids and ocean life, it just makes sense. Anyways, uh, back to our salad plate. You know, everything was just kind of overflowing and I just needed to take a break and get my priorities straight because you know I'm still adulting is just difficult and scheduling your life as an adult is difficult no crap. <laughs> I, I wish I wish in college whoever goes to college now I would suggest it to every university president hey we need a basics life kind of thing where you teach us how to live life that doesn't include algebra and finding the meaning of x because i cannot tell you how many people have backed me up on this x 
You do not need to know when you're an adult. You do not know, need to know X, unless X means what's my budget for the month? I mean, that's the X you need to find basically in life. So yeah, too much adulting and then too much social media, posting art videos, trying to figure out a schedule, trying to figure out an everyday kind of schedule. Honestly, it was just and then I was trying Patreon and I was trying everything. Okay. It was just, it was too much. And it got to the point, you know, I feel like every artist goes through this. It, what was discouraging the most was that the algorithm wasn't picking up my YouTube videos. And I was seeing that, okay, nobody's watching these. And I don't know why, because it's not like my, my art style, in my opinion, has changed and I'm trying new things and stuff and I was just like where am I messing up and I mean I don't understand the algorithm completely and I, I don't know I felt like a lot of the artists that I was following they weren't getting as many views as they were supposed to get and I thought well geez I don't understand so I was looking at the list of things I wanted to keep up Instagram TikTok Patreon Etsy and I had you know, YouTube was on that list too. And I had to pick which one of these can I take a break from? And YouTube was one of them. I was doing a bunch of live streaming with my patrons on here. So if you saw the notifications, just know that's what it was. And I'm really interested in possibly just opening that up to everybody, not just through Patreon, but I'm really into Thursdays at four o'clock. So that was my big thing there. I really like live streaming. It's fun. I figured it out. So I'm thinking about bringing it over and just opening it up public and just doing it every week with you guys. Not sure how I feel about that. It's fun. Not sure how you feel about that. <laughs> but yes, I just, I wanted to bring this back for the summer. I mean, we've all had a crazy year and I think that's mostly what it all boils down to is just that we went through 2020 and then we went into 2021 and I don't know about you guys, but it just feels like a whiplash. It was just like, whoosh, whoosh. it's just the world is kind of slowly being put back into place. And I was like, whoa, okay, we're getting back to life. This is great. I mean, the other day, my husband and I went and saw A Quiet Place too. We went to a movie. What? 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 <laughs> but yes. I thought, you know, it's the summer, life's coming back. I'm figuring out my schedule a little bit more, so I'm back. And you know, gonna get back to the tutorials. Got a really awesome movie that I need to draw some characters on. Her name starts with a Corella. <laughs> I've got some other fun things to just, you know, talk about. Just like, I just wanna fill up my sketchbook. I've got a big mole skin and I've got this new Illo sketchbook that was put my mermaid drawings in. And I just wanna fill them up and I wanna make it a summer project to fill them completely all the way through. And maybe that's a fun project we can do together and just talk and hang out cause I miss you guys. I hope you missed me and yeah let's just have a fun summer just bringing it back just needed a break i hope you guys understand it was all you know i think everybody once in a while needs to take a break from social media because the connectedness of everybody nobody needs to be up inside of each other's grill that much i mean we're not physically in each other's grill we're not standing an inch from each other's face but i feel like that's what's going on with social media and we were just all up in each other's grill. So, just branching out and having fun. Take a break, if that's you. Uh, my best suggestion is to take a break, come back with new content, a new plan, a new schedule. It will relieve you and take that stress off. But yes, here is my mermaid that represents forever. Yes, these pastel Ohuhu markers are the bomb diggity. This is not a sponsored video. I just like them. I bought them myself through Amazon. But yes, guys, I will see you all later. Thank you for letting me come back. I hope I, I'm allowed to come back. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.